Hello and welcome back to the Cowboy Cactus. Today we'll be playing 1-6, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm trying to think of a plant I don't use often to see if it's like actually good. Like how I kind of changed my mind on the starfruit because I thought that was bad before. Um... Okay, there we go, two suns. So, it's been a week since I uploaded a video, obviously. Um... I still have yet to go back to Terraria or do any achievement runs. Uh, just school's been really busy and I not have time to focus on YouTube, so sorry if you were hoping to see that, but I cannot promise that next week will be any better because we'll see how big the next week's the school assignment is and all of that. I don't know. I, I had time, but I was tired and yeah, I don't know. Just know that I'm going to be a little busy with work this coming weeks and then I got school that I got to focus on and YouTube is taking a back road because no offense but my education at high school and college is more important than you guys enjoying my videos a little bit but we'll see I don't know I'm actually excited to become an electrician I think that's what I want to do in my life sounds fun Anyway, off the existential dread of not knowing what I want to do with the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> so, I think the last time I talked to you was about my first, uh, my U.S. history class for college, was that I figured out the guy was a French lawyer. Um, or, I knew he was French, I don't think I knew he was a lawyer, but... So, basically, last week, he went on this massive rant about why Europeans went to colonize America and I said uh, they went to colonize America because they wanted to, the Spanish wanted a trade route with China they wanted the spices and I thought that was the convention, con con conventional wins wisdom at least you know not academically like I'm sure there's a bunch more reasons like well the Spanish wanted this and this and they wanted to spike the Portuguese because of that or something like there's an actual like specific answer but I thought that was the consistent consistent uh, the known like accepted one knowledge of why colonization happened they were looking for a trade route to China to get a better trade deal um, apparently not apparently they went trading because they went sailing because they're Christian and they wanted to spread the ideology that's that's what my teacher basically explained so you know I'm so <laughs> thrilled to be in his class because he's not teaching the wrong information at all in my opinion um maybe maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm bullheaded maybe from watching YouTube I have more information that's wrong I don't know maybe I am maybe I'm not I don't know but he went on that rant he called us uh, the student, all of us a terrorist because we didn't know what a word meant because the word was like humanist or something where you stand for like liberty of human or something freedom of human something like really stupid and it's such an obscure word that no one knew what it meant and I mean I'll give him that much it was it was a pretty funny joke but yeah I don't know. we'll see <laughs> uh, yeah I had a substitute for one of my college art classes which was fun and so they were so young man they were i don't know if they were really older than me they were yeah it was weird but yeah school's been fun drew more upside down objects in art class i drew a really buff horse last week and this week we drew what was it it was I can't remember the first item. Oh, it was a goat, and then we drew a hand with a pencil holding, or a hand holding a pencil, and then we drew Todoroki from My Hero Academia, but the teacher said, you know, don't think, don't let your brain think they know where the lines are, because it's an upside down drawing, and it, basically it's just training you to get better with not trusting, but like immediately going down a line and realizing, oh, that's really wiggly, that's what the exercise is, but Basically, the people I'm hanging out with when I'm in our class are making jokes like, Guys, this isn't Todoroki, it's Bakugo. Like, it's just stupid, but it makes the, our class so much better, man. Oh, it makes it so much better. I don't know. I'm doing volleyball right now, and we are currently 2-0, so I'm very happy about it. 
but we'll see how long they last because now we're going to be playing a team that has all of the athletes go to it. They like target athletes, which I know you're not supposed to attack the one in high school, but at the same time, I don't think they care. Okay. Okay, this is this is the joke that I wanted to do. <laughs> it makes the ice pea shooter so much more effective because it doubles the damage, right? <laughs> actually, I'm curious. Does it does it double the damage? Like, does it actually do? And it makes the pea shooter normal. See that that right there. That is a, such a good detail by whatever it's called, Pacom or whatever whoever made this game. I can't remember. But that was such a good detail. The fire thaws the ice. Like that is just so smart. I really wish, like, modern games, I mean, I'm sure modern games do that, but that's just, that's cool, right? That's just cool Easter egg. Whoops, I did not mean to click that so fast. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do today, because I gotta upload and edit this by tomorrow morning, so I can go to work, so, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I got more videos like this on the playlist at the top left. So, yeah. Have a good day. This is Cowboy Cactus signing out. Peace.